and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome to another one of those nights. One of those occasions where it just doesn't happen for us. In the end, we can't get over the line. We can't score that goal. It was a game where you thought, you know what? It's coming. It's coming. We can get there. We can get back into this. As time went on, we had all of that extra time as well to try and get back in it. But it didn't drop. It didn't cross the line. And I come away from this game with one thought and one thought only. That was painful in so many different ways. Yes, Barca were close. Yes, we were really banging on the door. But again, we were not good enough. And again, we've got to hold our hands up and say, we need more. We have to find a way here to pick up this team and reverse this form. Because that is three home defeats in a row, which for this club... We are well aware is not good enough. And of course, guys, it was a disappointing night out there tonight for Barca. But indeed, this video right here and this match review is coming to you courtesy of the One Football app. I know that tonight has been tough, but One Football do a great job there of supporting me and the channel. So if you do want to go ahead and download the app from the link in the description down below, that would be much, much appreciated on my side. But if we do look at the team, and that's what you can do there over on the One Football app, because there's going to be plenty of reaction, I'm sure, from this defeat. But Xavi there starting with Dest coming in for Dani Alves. That was a change that obviously in the end, Dest ended up going off in the second half. Araujo and Jordi Alba were fit to start the game. PK was not quite ready to return. Eric Garcia came in. But other than that, it was unchanged. It did feel as though Xavi was hoping to get one more performance out of this team. One more game here before then we get some rest. But we didn't. We didn't get that performance today. And these players weren't able to find the kind of rhythm and the kind of intensity that we needed, especially after going behind. Because let's be honest, guys, going behind in a game after seven minutes, especially given the way we've been recently, the way we seem very, very delicate, especially when you go behind in a game, it was a dreadful start. And you can see here, there's a massive gap between Serginho Dest and Eric Garcia, right there down the middle of our defence. And of course, you've got to look at Dest, because at the end of the day, it's his man, the one that he should be marking that ends up scoring the goal. It's a very, very good run, intelligent run there. Ryo play it well, but we just don't recover. Dest there cannot recovery allows his man to get in behind him of course then we try and close down the situation Tastegan at his near post he's beaten I think he would expect also to do a bit better in that area but it's a bad start to the game and again we never really recovered yes of course we put the pressure on yes of course we could have gotten back into it and we very nearly did but we just don't seem to have that confidence right now and I think the one player particularly in that first half who actually did rise to the occasion and really did actually impress in the first half especially it would be Gavi. He injected some energy into our play, some much needed energy and could there have been a penalty there in that first half? Very questionable decision. Chavi thought 100% that it should have been. I thought when I first saw it, definite penalty there on Gavi that he was brought down but on the replay... I'm not so sure. I think Gavi there actually runs into his man. I think maybe there's not much of an attempt to bring him down. Not like the one in the second half that we will come on to. But there were opportunities in and around the area. There's one here. Ryo get caught out playing out of the back. De Jong picks up the loose ball. He plays it then straight into Dembele. Good first time ball. And there was moments like this in and around the box where we could have taken on I feel today more shots. More often than not we were going today. Not just Dembele but just crossing it in. Lots and lots of crosses. I think two minutes many times Barca went down that road when there were shooting opportunities and chances to play the ball there on the floor. But I think before halftime, undoubtedly for me, that was our best spell of the game. I think halftime actually came too soon for us. If we'd have carried on playing, we might actually scored a goal here. Because as you can see, Gavi again, he's the one who's quickest to the loose ball. He picks it up, takes on a beautiful shot. That is a stunning strike there. He looked to have placed it perfectly in the top right-hand corner. But he's so unlucky. It doesn't just hit the crossbar. It hits the underside of the crossbar. Bounces down there above the goal line. It is so, so close. And even then on the rebound, Ferran Torres from a tight angle. He actually lifts it over the goalkeeper. It goes in. But unfortunately there, he's in an offside position. That goal is not going to count. And at halftime, Barca was so close. 
but still so far. Now at the start of the second half, Clement Longley did come on for Serginho Dest. That was an interesting move there from Xavi. He moved out to right back Ronald Araujo and then it was Longley and Eric as the centre-back pairing and Barca did actually have an opportunity there on the counter-attack. Jordi Alba a few times today had shots at goal. He was actually one of our players that went closest to scoring and I think that says everything there that Jordi Alba taking on these long-range shots he was one of the closest because many of the shots today went high, wide and ballooning everywhere but Alba actually was one of the more accurate shooters before on 60 minutes. Xavi there rolling the dice. Memphis Depay coming on along with Nico Gonzalez. Ferran Torres went off. You've got to say he was ineffective today. Wasn't receiving the ball enough. Wasn't coming to get it and making things happen. And also Frankie de Jong went off. And I didn't think today he played well at all. And I just wonder here about his reaction when he went off. De Jong clearly unhappy. The fact that he was subbed. Whether that's unhappiness there with Xavi. Whether that's unhappiness with his own performance. We don't know. But anyway, Ferran and Frank off and then Barca making those changes and I thought Memphis actually had a really good impact on the game today actually I think it helped him at times the fact that when Luke de Jong came on later he was able there to just slot in behind him we had more attacking players on the field and he was finding some good space really unlucky there it was a last gas block that stopped him from getting on the score sheet and even from range there was a long range effort really good power that he got on the strike but Dmitrievsky who was brilliant today typically for Rio Vallecano made the save but Luke did come on a down Ama Traore came on, Abamyang and Eric Garcia going off. And certainly then as the game went on, I think Barca became quite frantic in their play. Obviously, there was a lot of attackers, Dembele, Adama Traore, you got Luke, you got Memphis, you got the midfielders bombing on as well. But I have to say here, guys, I still don't know to, to this moment why we didn't get a penalty. Because as you can see here, Gavi inside the area, referee in a great position, he can see this all the way, and the defender extends his arms. It is a clear shove in the back. He brings Gavi down from behind there. It is a stone wall penalty. Now, apparently something was given there about offside. They didn't really show any replays of that. I thought that was kind of interesting. VAR didn't seem to look at it for that long, but I just don't understand what went wrong there. What happened so that that was not given as a penalty. I still don't understand that now. But Adama Traore, really good impact as well. Memphis and Adama, both of them having the impact. He had a really good run inside the area. So unlucky. I thought this was a certain goal. Again, parried wide by Dmitrievsky. What a goalkeeper he is and what a performance he had today from the resulting corner. There was efforts there in and around the goal. There was efforts off the post. And then just the last moment, when you were thinking, OK, we're deep into added time. We actually got a fair bit because Raya all game long with time wasting. Dembele here. Goalkeeper all at sea. Two players there running back. Dembele with a strike at goal. And of course, cleared off the line. And I just think that sums up the game. Barca weren't good. We certainly were not at it today. And I will hold my hands up and say that. But if you ask me, did Barca deserve to lose this game? Did we deserve to leave here without a goal to our name? I think that's harsh. And I think deep down, we know we should have done better today. We could have done better, but it's a loss. And I think at the end of the day, guys, what we have to say, and it is sad, I'm really sad to actually be saying this, but at the end of it, we played our game in hand here and we've achieved nothing. We've gone nowhere. We haven't taken advantage here of this extra game. All that we've done now is put huge pressure on our final five games. And we've got some big ones in there. We've got some tough final games to come. Right now, yes, we are six points ahead of Real Betis. That could have been nine. That could have and should have been nine if we'd have won this game and taken care of business. But we haven't. And I think the players now, Xavi as well, they have to take on responsibility. And they will have to say, we have got five finals to come. Now, we hear that phrase a lot, that every game is a final, but we haven't played like that recently. The players now have seven days off. They have to get rested. They have to get ready. Because next weekend, there is absolutely no room. No room at all for error. And of course, guys, what I would like from you in the comments down below is what your thoughts are tonight on that performance. Do you feel as though Barca got what they deserve? Do you feel as though we deserve to lose this game? Or do you think in the end we were a bit unlucky? Whether it be there with refereeing decisions, the curious ones that we saw today, some unlucky moments in front of goal. What do we need to do to drag ourselves out of this situation? And especially looking now to our games to come, what are you expecting? from this team. Please do let me know that down below, guys. Thank you indeed for joining me here today and sticking by me. In these times, we've done it before, of course. 
We've had these moments and low times before. And just like always, we will come through them. I will see you soon with more videos to come. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Butter. Uh -huh.